that you will be known to us and love to us for we believe that in doing your will we shall experience true peace heavenly father we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude as we embark on this school project a science exhibition we seek your guidance and blessings in this exhibition we gather to showcase the fruits of our labor the knowledge we have gained and the marvels of science that we have uncovered we pray that you would bless our efforts wisdom and inspiration as we present our projects to our peers and teachers may this exhibition be an opportunity for us to inspire others we ask for your guidance lord to overcome any challenges or obstacles that may come our way during the preparation and presentation of this exhibition we ask all these things in the name of our lord amen
very good morning, respected sisters, guests, judges, teachers, and my dear friends, and my dear students. I am delighted to extend a warm welcome to all of you to our science exhibition. It is an honor to have an esteemed group of guests joining us today. Your presence makes the event even more special and we are excited to share our passion for science with you. This year, the science club of our school has conducted this exhibition to encourage and help the students to showcase the incredible work done by them. We also thank our principal, Sister Federalist, for motivating us to conduct this exhibition. Science is the foundation of progress and innovation. It has the power to transform lives, shape societies, and solve complex problems. Throughout the exhibition, you will witness an array of scientific experiments, projects, and demonstrations that highlight various fields of science. Our students have poured their hearts and mind into this project, and we hope that they are going to impress you. This exhibition not only serves as a platform for our young scientists to showcase their talents, but also encourages curiosity and fosters a love for learning. It is a reminder that science is not just confined to books or lab. It is a living, breathing force that surrounds us in our everyday lives. We would like now like to welcome our guest by giving a potted plant as a symbol of appreciation to our school science exhibition 2023. It is my honor to welcome the chief guest for the day, Mr. Umesh Chandra Behera, Inspector CID Crime Branch. Express Tour Sector 20. He is a science exhibition's watch sir. Thank you, sir, for your presence. All our judges for the day, Miss Ravinder Rale and Mr. Sudan Bagh. Thank you all of you, dear guests. Now, we present before you a short presentation based on Chandra 3 to showcase the remarkable achievement. Field box. Check. Discovery bottle, check. Igniters, check. Rocket motors, check. Countdown stats. Five, four, three, two, one.
whole country was up in the same wave of happiness and this day when we celebrate it as national space day on saturday that is august 26 
He was awarded with the Nobel Prize in 2023 and he was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize in Physics. Her professor atomic physics at Newark University and Anita Julio's distinction of teaching was unveiled as she resumed her classes after a short break. Mongi Bavini. Mongi Bavini is an American chemist. He was born in Paris. He was known for his advancement in chemical production of high quality quantum tasks. In 2023, he was awarded the Nobel Prize for his work in producing quantum tasks. Louis Chicken Bruce is an American physical chemist who was awarded the 2023 Nobel Prize in chemistry for his work in discovering and producing quantum rocks, which are very small particles whose unusual quantum properties depend on the sun. Quantum dots have unique properties and now spread their light from television screens and LED lamps. The characterized chemical reaction and the clear light can illuminate tumor tissue for a surgeon. Researchers have primarily utilized quantum dots to create color zones. They believe that in the future, quantum dots can contribute to flexible electronics, minuscule sensors, slimmer solar cells, and perhaps encrypted quantum communication. Alexei Ekibov is a Russian solid state physicist and a pioneer in nanomaterials. He discovered quantum dots in 1981. Quantum dots are very small particles with unusual quantum properties that depend on their size. Ekimov was awarded the 2023 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work in producing quantum dots. Kathleen Kariko is a Hungarian-American biochemist who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology of Medicine in 2023. She was born on 17 January 1955 in a small village at Hungary. From an early age, she excelled academically in science. She was awarded the Nobel Prize for her groundbreaking work on nucleoside-based modification of mRNA. Basement, along with Kathleen, found the way to modify mRNA and later developed the technique to package mRNA in lipid nanoparticles. This made it possible for mRNA to reach proper parts of the body and trigger an immune response. This led to the discovery of efficient COVID-19 mRNA vaccines. Drew Wiesman is an American physician and immunologist known for his contributions to RNA biology. Wiesman is an inaugural Roberts Family Professor in Vaccine Research, Director of the Penn Institute for RNA Innovation and Professor of Medicine at the Perelman School of Medicine, University of Pennsylvania. He was born on 7 September 1959 in Lexington, Massachusetts, United States. He won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in the year 2023 for its work on mRNA vaccines which has been crucial in the fight against COVID-19. Principal Carmel School invited his daughters, teachers, and their students. Good morning, sir. Please be with you. Very good morning, sir. <laughs> this is uh, the species, uh, auspicious occasion of uh, worshipping Goddess Yoga and uh, beautifully depicted and beautiful presented. And here you are all the entities of versus Rupa. The supreme form of energy. <coughs> energy. It's all about energy. Energy matters. So you are all the entities of versus Rupa. And this, uh, you demonstrated that these energies, <coughs> when utilized in a positive way, then it can be, it can demolish, it can heal all sort of demons. And presently they also told that the demons in different forms, they are also existing right now. Demons now they are being vanished in different vices, in the form of different vices, in different maladies, social maladies, they are still existing. So we need to uh, empower, we need to utilize our energy in a positive way. 
to destroy all these maladies. That only that will be satisfied. Uh, the eminent scientists like C. D. Raman, Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein, and many more. To be very frank, they were first of all very honest. They were very down to earth. They were very peace loving, very innocent. They didn't know. They didn't actually read science or research on science to get luxury, to get material wealth, to get good job like that. They were very innocent. They were very down to earth. They be just to be calm. Dr. Ajit Jokhul Kalam, they were all good human beings. They were very honest, they were very disciplined, they were very down to earth. That the man king, that's how they became the eminent scientist. And science so far, I've read, science is nothing but the search for truth. Science is nothing but the search for truth. Science is not a media to get luxury, to get good lot of money. No. That is the wrong person. That's why by reading science, we are longing after or we are being wasted. And my only message to you is that whatever you do, whatever you read, you must be in the arena, in the circle of humanity, peace, discipline, honesty and all. These are the only matters in life. Whatever feel you want to do. Okay? So, wish you all beautiful representation. I know that girls are basically coming to the beautiful representation. Beautiful demonstration. I welcome you all again. And thanks sister for calling me. And you can come. Now I request our esteemed guest of honor, Dr. V. Gaurav, to share his insights about science with us. Good morning, children. Thank you. Are you happy here? Yes, sir. Are you enjoying? Yes, sir. Very good. All respected guests, esteemed principal of Carmel School, Vice Principal, Santi Madam, and all other teachers and dear students. Really, I am privileged to be here because it is a matter science. I love science and I also always interested to work for the science. As Sark told, science always inquired what is the truth because if you go to the beginning, before the scientific era, people don't know what is happening in the sky. So, at that time, what we do? If your teacher will tell something, you will believe. If a scientist will tell, you may believe or may not believe. But if a priest will tell, this should happen. Or an astrologer will tell, this should happen, that will happen. Most of us believe in that. In ancient time, that was the time. That was the facts when people are not able to understand the phenomena happening in the sky, all astronomical phenomena. So, whatever the book or the great fish you will tell, that we have to accept. One thing is very important, hard work, hard work, perseveration. As Edison has told, one person is required for the inspiration, 99 inspiration. We have to do what that. Yes, there is inspiration. And students, one thing I want to tell you, never hesitate to ask questions in your class. Never hesitate to ask as many as questions to your teachers. To clarify your doubts. Don't keep your doubt inside. Don't think I am asking a question. I am somebody will laugh. Teachers may tell something. Don't think that at all. I have to clear my doubts, then I can focus. Thank you very much. Joy Vidya. Thank you for sharing your valuable suggestions with us. We are very blessed to have you among us. Now I request our chief guest, guest of honor, principal and judges to be guided by Ms. Sama, our science club leader, 
to move to the exhibition area for the opening ceremony of exhibition. I'm 
minds in extreme tension to take care of the disposal of industrial waste and the with the eye. Taj Mahal Thank you. 
This one, no? The project 
that have demonstrated exceptional level of innovation, scientific rigor and creativity will be of course acknowledged and incentivized. Now I would like to call Ms. Sama to take over the stage. As we have come to the end of the program, and now it's time to announce the name of the winners. First of all, congratulations to all the participants who have put so much effort and Everyone has tried their best to bring out their innovative ideas and express their ideas. Before announcing the winners, we must not forget life is not just series of calculations and seeing total of statistics. It's about experience, it's about participation, it is something more interesting than what is obvious. So those of you who have not won, please don't be disheartened. For us, you all are the winners. Before announcing the winners, I would like uh, Ms. Gavin to come up on the stage and say some few words, say some encouraging words to the children. Good morning everybody. should be everywhere in this world. Yes or no? Do you agree with this? Yes. Thank you sister for calling us, me and Sudan sir as judge over here today. And as the teacher said, don't think that you did not win means you are a big failure. Yes or no? We all are, the most important thing is that you participated in this program in this exhibition. Got it? And you should gain confidence and next time whenever the science exhibition will be there, wherever you go, you excel in good colours, you come out in flying colours I should say. So thank you once again. The ideas, the presentation, the way you spoke, it was very very nice. I would appreciate each and every one for the wonderful explanation. They tried their best. Yeah, no.